Hello, this is Left Turn Productions, and welcome to the BMRN LTP Pro Series, season number two, race number, uh, I think this is race number nine, on the season here at Augusta Raceway, sorry for the weird picture, uh, I did not, I forgot to take a picture of the track that was actually horizontal, and wasn't the vertical one that I shared on the Discord, so, uh, you get the weird, uh, picture of it uh this is a road course uh with many different formats but we are going to be using the uh i believe it's the b layout no it's the i think no it's the a layout i don't remember which layout it is it's either a or b but uh we have 29 cars out here today and let's get into your stories heading into this race so last time on this channel that we did one of these races clint boyer took the win uh he uh he won it at fairgrounds uh after a pretty good late race battle and uh i think he's a little too far out to get into the championship battle but we'll see what he has here on the road course as there are four races left in the season and then you have jimmy johnson kyle bush and matt de benedetto uh all of these guys are in the championship battle as well actually i don't think kyle bush is uh but Matt Benedetto surprisingly is, he's still in it, but albeit barely, uh, he had a really good run in the last BLPS race, and Jimmy Johnson won the last BLPS race, and Jimmy's looking to make a late title run here uh, this season. And then you have Denny Hamlin, who, uh, he's been doing pretty well, he's been, I think, the most consistent driver this season, uh, but he's still looking for that first win on the season, as he is also uh trying to go for the championship and finally we have your top three starters martin tricks jr is currently your points leader uh chase elliott starting second he has won both road course races in this in this series that have happened on this channel uh and kevin harvick is going to be on the pole after a bad outing uh in the last couple races uh looking to turn it around try to get back in this championship battle and uh this will definitely help him so row one you have kevin harvick and chase elliott row two is martin trix jr and ross chastain row three is denny hanlon and brad kozlowski row four is kurt bush and matt de benedetto row five is kyle bush and jimmy johnson row six joy logano and eric jones row seven ryan blaney and clint boyer row eight william byron and cole custer row nine eric almarola and michael mcdowell in row 10 is Alex Bowman and Ryan Priest. Row 11, Ryan Newman and Chris Buescher. Row 12, Christopher Bell and Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Row 13, Tyler Reddick and Corey LaJoy. Row 14, Timmy Hill and Bubba Wallace. And rounding out the field in the wrong lane. Uh, I didn't realize what I did. Uh, in the wrong lane is uh, Reed Sorensen. So there's going to be only five laps in this race, which is about how many laps there usually is in a BMRN uh, road course, usually on my channel at seven. But this time it's going to be only five here because this is quite a long road course. So the pace truck will pull off and we are green here at Augusta Raceway. Going off into turn number two, the hairpin, Kevin Harvick has the lead, but Chase Elliott is right behind him. The top three have not changed. Elliott looking to get his first win of the season, I believe. As now we head through the short shoot and around the next corner. And now we're going down Thunder Alley. This long straightaway that leads into the final corner. And through this final corner now, Kevin Harvick will lead them. Truex and Elliott are side by side for second. Truex will get the spot here as Harvick leads the first lap. Oh, we got a crash. Cole Custer. Eric Jones, William Byron, and Ryan Priest gets collected as well. A few drivers who have struggled this season definitely did not need runs like that. Uh, just really unfortunate for these guys. Uh, Custer's been, been piecing together a few good runs. Uh, Eric Jones has just had a miserable season, just not a very good one at all. Same for William Byron and also Ryan Priest. Uh, so... Uh, the caution's going to come out here on lap number two, and let's look at the replay. I'm not entirely sure what started this, but Cole Custer got turned in the final corner. Not sure who got into him. It might have been the 10 car or the person, 
or whatever car is off screen anyway. Custer started going up the track, spinning up the track, and Eric Jones hit him in the back end. Byron almost missed it, but Jones came up and collected Byron. And then Ryan Priest almost missed it, but he ended up getting collected by the 24 car. So small four-car wreck here uh, in the final corner. And we're going to have another restart here uh, on lap number three. All right, Harvick and Truex will lead them off here on lap number three. And Harvick once again gets a pretty good jump, but Truex is staying tough on that outside lane as they go through the first corner. Down into the hairpin here, it might get tight. Harvick trying to apex the corner. And here comes Truex, he's right on the back bumper of Harvick. Harvick gets turned by Truex. Truex into the back end of Harvick and sends him around and we got more cars getting involved. A massive melee, huge wreck in the S's, and that's about eight or nine cars that are now junked. Oh, man. A lot of the cars in the back of the pack, but a few big names. Kevin, Kevin Harvick had led the entire race up until that point, and uh, Truex just got into the back of him. It looked like also involved the 66 of Timmy Hill. The 47 of Ricky Stenhouse. There's Chris Buescher in the 17. Tyler Reddick. Christopher Bell. There's the 88 of Alex Bowman on his side. Ryan Newman, Ryan Blaney, and Eric Almarola also involved in that accident. So uh, we're going to have to take a look at that one as well. So this started when they were going through turn number two. Harvick. Went through the corner, and then he went a little high here. Truex was right there, and he just made contact. The four-car of Harvick slides into the wall there, and he might have been okay, but then Kyle Busch turned around Ryan Blaney. Blaney slams hard into the front end of Harvick's car and then goes back up the track and collects a bunch of others. Look at them all pile in. Those last three drivers there, Sorensen, LaJoy, and Wallace were able to get on the brakes, but... A lot of the others were not so lucky. And again, Alex Bowman just got pushed over on his side, so it took took them a while to get him out. And that did cause a red flag uh, for about 15 minutes while they cleaned up the wreck. Because the track was completely blocked. So we are going to have a two-lap shootout here to decide it, assuming there will not be any more cautions. Uh, and Martin Trix Jr. will be the race leader. He's looking to extend his points lead with only a few races left in the season. Of course, trying to win the championship out here. Uh, can he do it? Let's find out. All right, so it's going to be Martin Truex Jr. and Brad Keselowski, who has not had a very good season. Uh, going to be starting on the front row here with two laps to go. Green flag is out, and Keselowski spins the tires. And that's going to hold up Hamlin. Martin Trix Jr. got to get out to the lead here as Kozlowski spun the tires on the restart. But he's got Chase Elliott chasing him. Uh, Chase Elliott looking for his third road course win in this series. And Matt Benedetto is not too far behind either. Here comes Elliott to the back bumper. Couldn't do anything there. Now down the short chute. It's going to be a three-car battle for the lead as Benedetto gets in it. Down Thunder Alley. De Benedetto to the inside, going for second. He's got it. But that's allowing Truex to pull away. White flag in the air one more time around. De Benedetto is closing in. He has the faster car. Will he be able to get by Truex? Truex up on the outside here. Oh, him and De Benedetto make contact. Somehow they held on to it, but here comes Chase Elliott. They're three wide through the S's. Who's going to get out with the lead? De Benedetto has the advantage now, but going down the short chute. Truex is going to get shuffled out, but here comes Elliott to the inside. He overdrove the corner. He and De Benedetto go up the track. Hamlin is going to get the lead, and he's going to scamper away. One last try for Elliott here in the final corner. Will he be able to get it? No, he won't. Denny Hamlin is gonna win is gonna win his first race of the season 
in exciting fashion here at Augusta. He went from fourth to first on the final lap as the leaders roughed each other up. Let's take a, a look at the replay of that finish. So this is the final lap of the race here. De Benedetto had just passed Elliott for second and was going for the lead. He is still in the championship fight. So a win at this stage of the season would be really, really good for him. Going into the hairpin, he got there and somehow Truex doesn't spin out after De Benedetto gets into the side. I think it's because De Benedetto kept going up the side of the car and that kind of straightened straighten Truex's car out but here comes Elliot trying to squeeze in there three wide through the S's I did not think I'd be seeing that in this race and this was when it was over for Truex but here comes Elliot to the inside of De Benedetto and Jen Denny Hamlin was just in the right place at the right time as Elliot overdrives the corner reverting back to choke Elliot status and also costing De Benedetto the win, and that all but sealed it for Denny Hamlin. Elliott was going to try and dive bomb in that last corner, but Truex was there, and I think Truex is going to get second. So Hamlin gets the win, and Truex will finish in second, so still a good points day for Truex. He should still have the points lead after this race, but anything can happen in these last three races that can knock him out of the points lead. So let's go and look at your race results here. Denny Hamlin getting the win, and I believe that we still have yet to have a multi-time winner in this series. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, Martin Trix Jr. finishing second. Uh, Chase Elliott finishing third. Matt Benedetto fourth. Brad Keselowski with the top five. Good run for him. Could have possibly contended for the win, but of course he spun the tires on that last restart. Dropped him back to like seventh. But he was still able to get a top five out of it. Kyle Busch finishes sixth. Clint Boyer seventh. Ross Chastain, solid run in eighth after qualifying fourth. Uh, Joey Logano finishes ninth. Another solid run for someone who hasn't had a very good season. And Kurt Busch will round out your top ten. Then you have Michael McDowell, who's good on road courses but didn't have a great run today. He finishes eleventh. Uh, not a great run uh, in context that only 15 cars finished. Uh, obviously, eleventh is a great run for Michael McDowell, but... Uh, I'm sure he was expecting to finish a little higher than that because of how many cars wrecked. Jimmy Johnson, not very good for him. He did not run a very good race. He finishes 12th. He might fall back a little bit in the championship battle, but he should still be in it. Bubba Wallace, 13th. Corey LaJoy and Reed Sorensen are the last two to finish the race. Kevin Harvick, Ryan Blaney, Eric Almirola, Alex Bowman, Chris Buescher, Ryan Newman, Ricky Stenhouse, Christopher Bell, Timmy Hill, Tyler Reddick, Cole Custer, Eric Jones, William Byron, and Ryan Priest round out the drivers that DNF'd here today. So that's going to do it for today. I do not have a victory picture for Denny Hamlin, unfortunately. I just, I forgot to do that again. <laughs> so uh, the next BLPS race will be at Madison, which is a track that I have not run yet. Uh, and it's going to be on Caleb's channel, uh... He is also going to be posting the points in the uh, comments, so uh, keep an eye out on that. But the next race that will be run here will be in September, and it will be at the Audi Speedrome. But of course, we also have the Calebville doubleheader for the LTPSS left to look forward to, which will either be very late August or very early September, depending on when I'm able to get that done. So yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching. This is Left Turn Productions, signing out.